What's up guys, I'm gonna build beats. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some modern trap drums. If you do end up enjoying the video, make sure you do hit that sub button and turn post notifications on so you don't miss a video. Let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so I just wanna go over sound selection. So in a nutshell, pretty much just use updated sounds, okay? There's too many producers, and I'm mainly talking to the older producers, too many of y'all using sounds that were made 10 to 20 years ago. And that's fine but there is a standard that artists have, there's a standard that producers have that you need to meet. And when you use some of those sounds, and I say some because the spins is an older sound, but it has um, standed the test of time, right? And you know, it's been enhanced, et cetera. Um, but a lot of those old sounds, they just don't go well, though they don't sound well with the modern sound. Now I'm not saying you can't use those ever, but if you're looking to kind of make what's popular and stuff, you kind of have to use what sounds are being used. Okay. And that's just as simple as that. All right. And I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm not going to go into it anymore. And um, one of the tip for like your sounds, and this is not really about sound selection, but you, you can just chop out the end to have a short decay. Um, and that will help with the trap sound as well, because it'll make it sound a little bit more bouncy, I guess. Um, just having a short decay on there. So that's one thing you can do. So now we can go ahead and we can get into um, placing the drums. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is show you the under hood of what's happening with your drums and the patterns that go with them. Okay, so we're gonna start with our pillars, the yellow. These are our pillars. So these are just the essential drums we need for just a beat. It doesn't matter what genre. Usually you'll have these in a song somewhere, okay? Um, so we'll start with the low end. The kick and 808 kind of go hand in hand because they kind of act the same. So I'm going to give you the pattern um, for these, okay? Under the hood pattern, okay? Because this could be a pattern, right? I'm going to give you the under hood pattern. So it's this, this, right here, and right here. Okay? So how do we alter this, right? Because any other pattern you see is just an altered version of this pattern, all right? Um, so pretty much a tip is to go over to left or right. So if you start here, if you go one, two in place, you start to get altered patterns. Okay. And you can go both ways. Right. And you can even keep it going like that. Right. And you could delete some. Right. And this is how you can kind of get some of these altered patterns. Okay, so I'm gonna just revert this back. And this, everything I say, will trickle down into every other sound. So all this works down here, okay? Um, but the lower you go, and there's a reason I, I always make my drums this way, is because um, I like to make the drums play off of one another, right? Which you probably should if you want bounce. All right, so that's our pattern for that. So for the snare or clap, because they kind of go hand in hand, I have these I have these uh, layered, okay. Um, these are the placements for it. So here and here, of course, I'm sure you know that. And then here, so remember one, two, right? So it's universal, as you can see, it's very universal. You see it's two, two places between, and then right here. Okay, again, this is all if you want bounce, right? So if you want like hip hop genres, rap, etc. Um, this will work for that. Okay. So these are the placements. And of course you could use stuff like this, right? But this is like the OG placement. These are just alterations of it, right? So you have like a drill type of thing here, right? Those are just altered versions. Um, so that's simple as that. Okay. So now moving on to um, our hi-hat. Now the hi-hat doesn't matter because as long as this is here, this is strong. You can literally put these anywhere. Okay. Right, not perfect, but it still sounds pretty good, right? So with the hi-hats, we can just do the OG pattern as this because you could literally play a hi-hat every single point. Okay, um, so we're just gonna put the hi-hat like this or we could just right click each four steps. And then you can just make altered versions of it. So if you want to go in and do a chop, and if it'll let me grab it, 
or you could chop it and then there you and that is how you add chops and that is how it's built okay under the hood at least right um so you know you have your little chop right here right so these are the points and then everything in between you can use as a chop all right so for your snare rolls your perks stuff like that um as you can see everything plays off of one another so at this point you want to use these and that's why i have it separated and play off of the drums you built up here and that is why i always build my drums this way um 808 low end to high end okay um so here are the points for your this is all perks okay this doesn't include um your symbols like your crashes because your crashes usually they will look something like this right so it's pretty much the same as like hi-hats but um all hats pretty much go here so here is the pattern for your perks right here okay and anything else is an altered version now it's going to sound weird but these are the under hood patterns okay so you can screenshot that i'll move the mouse out the way you can screenshot that and save it but these are the under hood patterns and anything else is just an altered version okay you can add stuff in right to trick because right this is still present this pattern like this right one two except now you're um being dynamic with it right so you're filling in this gap so that it trickles down here right and that's why it still sounds good because we're still landing on those place points right all right so that's it that was the longest part of the video now what we're gonna do is i have a melody here we're just gonna put this into play and make a like a real drum pattern okay all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and throw some drums down so i'm gonna just be realistic about this i'm not gonna just play stuff for the sake of using it right um you're supposed to just have these as like underlying patterns that you, so you can build off of them okay um so i may change sounds up etc so this is the melody Okay, and then I put the 808 pattern in there already. Okay, um, this is just a bass pattern. We're gonna build on this, um, but this is the bass line that I have for the melody, okay? Um, so we're gonna start with the snare. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna just take out stuff and put stuff in. So I think, honestly, just putting these right here um, is fine. And I might change it to a rim. I don't know. We'll see later. I want to add the bass, but I think that's fine for the snares. Um, and next, we could throw in the 808 since we have our snare, so we have something to kind of play uh, back and forth with. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the 808. So real quick, what you can do is you can right click here if you have the loop points, set to next bar, set these all to next bar. That way it loops. Okay, I just want these to loop so it's easier. Um, so let's go in here and I'm gonna mute these and we're just gonna mess around with this 808 pattern. Um, let me see if this goes, this should be going out to here. Okay, there we go. And I probably should put a rim in there. I feel like it'll sound better. So we can put them in these spots. Remember these spots? I know it's kind of hard to see because it just looks different, but these spots would look something like this. So if you were put it all the way on top like this. These are the points you would be able to play off of. And I'm gonna actually bring these down. Hopefully they don't play. Actually, let's put one over here. So this would be like going over two, right? And then I want to try adding something in here. Let's see. Let me see. Okay. We can do something like that. I wanted to do something else, but I don't want to waste time. All right. So over here, let's see. And then let's.
that's put it here. So remember these spots like this. And remember we go over two, that would just be over one this way, okay? And then we can kind of get a, and this is actually a modern pattern. We could do like a little octave jump. So that is the 808 pattern. Um, everything else will be pretty easy after this. So let's delete these and we can go ahead and move on to the next drum. All right, so now we're gonna move on to like the hi-hats and stuff like that. Now I'm not gonna use a kick because this 808 doesn't need one, but typically you would right click, copy. Now this is why, you know, people right click, copy and they paste it because you're just pasting the points you need. So you Alt K, make sure it's on C, and then you can build off of this, right? Oops, gotta turn this on. Now it's not gonna sound good because my 808 is so loud, but. And that is essentially how you would do it, but I don't wanna use a kick. I don't think it's necessary for this. So we can go ahead and hide that. Alt Z to hide it, okay? Um, so for the hi-hat, pretty much you heard already, this is fine. So you would just add in um, places for your like, I don't know, your chops. So you can put one here. Okay, stuff like that, but we'll go in. And honestly, I don't even think we need much for this, but I just wanna show you where to put like your chops and stuff, right? So it's pretty much before something, before or after, right after a pillar hits okay so before any of these so remember the placements so before any of these pillars hit is exactly where you would put like a chop okay so we could put a chop well i guess we'll just do it in here All right and then for the grids pretty much one third step or one half step grid is fine especially when you do like click stuff and you can kind of mess around with the velocity Simple as that. And you can also pan if you need to. Um, where is it? You can pan stuff. I don't really like doing this too much, but you can pan. And make sure you reset the pan by clicking. And we could pan one over here like that. All right. All right. Simple as that, I know it's kind of taking a long time, but I want to go thoroughly through every single one. Okay, I, my goal is to never have another comment of somebody asking how to do drums, right? Unless they're new. Um, so now we can go ahead and go to the snare rolls and it's pretty much the same, um, except you would be a little bit more careful of where you place them, okay? All right, so now we're gonna talk about perks and snare rolls. So these are the placements and then you can build off of those. So. What I like to do first is kind of figure out which placements I want uh, first. So, I feel like that's doing a little bit too much, but you can get away with, cause the snare is very piercing to the ears. So if you have a perk, you can definitely, and I'll just copy this um, and then I'll show you what I mean. Let's just, Pin it. Um, you can put these in this area. So let's just act like this is a perk. Okay. Um, so in those same spots, you can add the perks. Okay. Um, so I'm satisfied with, well, let me see. I think it's fine for now. So we can delete this. I don't want to confuse. Okay. So for the rolls, it's the same way. Okay. So same way with the hi hats. So like you can put one here and then you can go one sixth, um, pretty much any of these, one fourth, one third, one um, half step. Um, but you can start with one sixth. It's a little bit easier. And then you can kind of 
mess around with the pan. Let's make sure we reset the pan. Okay, it's pretty strong pan. Now, I don't really like doing snare rolls too much. They don't sound that great to me personally, but um, I've heard, you know, they do sound good in some instances, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do the snare rolls. And you could do fast ones. Uh, you know, you could do, I'm gonna just throw some in. It's not gonna sound that good, but just to show you. Right, just to show you the different types, whatever. Let's... Right, and you can throw a little stuff in. Right, so combining some, and this is pretty much the same grid as a one six, one third. Right, just cut in half. So, I would suggest probably using this one if you want more like true snare rolls. Okay, but that's pretty much it. I like this. I think it's fine. Um, so what I want to talk about is actually the mixing and mastering. Lastly. Um, and I don't know, I might change this to a rim too, but that's it for the snare rolls and perks. So let's move on. All right, so I did add a rim. I just wanted to see what it sounded like. Now, I kind of liked it more than the layer sounds. Okay, um, so that is one thing I added. So for this, I'm just go over this quickly. Um, for the drums here, okay. So main drums, snare, hi-hat rolls, perks, etc. Um, the only thing I wouldn't put in here is symbols like your crashes, stuff like that, open hats, because they need sustain. But I would highlight these, put them all here, right click, track routing, go to the second one. OK, um, if you're in a different doll, just put your main like your main drums into a bus, except your kick in it away. And then you boost the highs. And then we have a transient processor. Now, what this does is it just cleans up the sounds so they're more like. Uh, they have a shorter decay, so I'll turn this. You see how they clean them up? Um, so you can kind of use that and then you can boost the attack a bit. I kind of like them like this a little bit. OK, um, so that is one tip. And then if you're trying to mix your kick in it away, if you have a kick, my rule of thumb is six dB difference. So. I want the, the 808 to be 6 dB away from the kick. So there's plenty of ways you can do this, but I just like doing it in the mixer. That's why I don't touch these. Um, so I can do this, but I have videos over this. That's just a quick tip. I'm not gonna go into detail on it, but I do have videos on how I do this and stuff like that. Um, but we don't have a kick, so we don't have to worry about it. Now for the master, um, I just boost kind of in these areas. I've talked about this before, but you don't really need to do that, but I'll do it up here. Um, so pretty much these two last like parameters here, you just kind of boost them up to to make the drums a little bit more crispy because you have all that bass, right? Um, you don't want to here. I'll just show you what I mean, right? Like the bass is very overbearing. So you want to bring up those drums. And you see, it's a lot cleaner now, right? It, it, it sounds like we mixed it, but all we did was just put an EQ. Um, so soft clipper. So rule of thumb for this, if you don't know this yet, um, we'll reset it. Um, pretty much what you want to do is multiply the threshold by three. Now, this is only a soft clipper because I know other VSTs have different UIs and stuff like that, and they look different. But in soft clipper, this is how you get it to sound almost perfect, because um, here's what it sounds like off. And you can see everything is super loose. So it's important to have this stuff on the master or something on the master. Turn it on. Um, and then we go four times three, right? We'll hit about 12. And now it's hitting hard. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.